Hey, Kathleen Zellman's here, CEO and co-founder of Amplified Now, a marketing agency that helps creative entrepreneurs make more money through marketing. Today I want to talk about outsourcing, specifically when you should outsource content marketing and when you should outsource pieces of your content marketing and something you should never outsource. I run a content marketing agency, so take what I say with a grain of salt or maybe an entire shaker of salt, but I do believe that you can effectively outsource your content marketing. You can outsource SEO pieces, you can outsource pillar posts, which are those big giant pieces of content that are intended to get a bunch of backlinks and it's a whole different strategy. You can do that. Those authority building pieces you can do, but you should not outsource your thought leadership pieces. By that I mean the pieces that are your thoughts, your ideas, your knowledge, your coin phrases, the things you always say, that kind of thing should not be written by someone who doesn't know you, someone who isn't you, because they're not going to say it the way you would, and they're not going to convey the level of authority that you would if you wrote it. But the thing is, you don't have time to write all that stuff. How could you? You're busy running your business. You're busy doing your your own thing. You're, you're busy being you. So what we have, what I believe is the, the best shortcut is to start on video. Because again, a writer isn't going to know whether you like to speak formally or rather informally. They don't know your tics. They don't know your turns of phrases. And they're not going to, even if they're on your team, it's so hard to write like someone else. But video is great because you can be on camera for five to 10 minutes and get about a thousand word blog post out of that. And it's not as hard as you think. You set it up so that you're doing an interview with someone, me, if you're hiring our agency, uh, or if you are going to start offering this as a service, if you are a digital service provider already and you want to start adding video content, then this is what you can set up. I actually have a whole course over at doingmarketingdifferently.com about how to set up exactly what we do for our clients, mainly because I think it's a necessary service and I can't serve all the clients <laughs> that need it. So I'd like to ramp other agency owners, other digital entrepreneurs, other digital service providers up to this point where we're all helping clients look and sound and be great on video. And we can do it even if we're not in the same location. And I think that's the biggest point that I want to make is that none of this has to happen. Like you don't have to fly to your clients to go interview them. In fact, often adds a level of anxiety both for the provider and for the people on camera that ends up making their videos turn out kind of wooden. So when I, when I tell you to outsource your video, I only mean the technical bits. Just like you would never have a spokesperson who doesn't know your business speak for you at a conference, you wouldn't do that here either, right? You don't want to do that here. And you don't have to. And if you're someone who speaks in front of audiences, this is a great way to scale your audience. You can harness the power of all of your public speaking that you have ever done or ever will do, and you can scale that. It's such a cool thing to be able to scale the messaging that you're, you're saying. And so don't outsource the video. You've got to be the expert. The people who should be on camera on your videos are you, your stakeholders, other people in your organization who you want to elevate and amplify, and that's it. 
we do a lot of this for clients and sometimes I wish that I could just record myself so that we could get those videos out there, but I am not them. I am not an expert in what they do. And most of us are having sales calls with other people. And so it's this, it's the like, you don't want to have that disconnect. Like I'm on your team, but I'm behind the scenes and I'm the interviewer. And I really like that role for myself. And I believe that it helps amplify everyone else in the room when I can get them into a place where they are standing in their expertise. They're, they're speaking from the cuff. They're being themselves. And then they are done, basically. So don't outsource your voice. Don't outsource your face. Don't outsource your messaging. But outsource, you can outsource just about anything else. If you want to talk to me about how to set this up in your organization, head to amplifiednow.com slash contact. And if you're interested in setting something up like this for clients, because you're a digital service provider, head over to doingmarketingdifferently.com slash training and get our free 10 minute training on how we set this up. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.